back to Watson's Wagons. It's about time we do some wagons stuff, right? Uh, okay, so the Silverado's up on jack stands, and I have slowly been going after the transmission. And I'm like, you know, it's on jack stands. You know, one night I went under there and took the fender wells out, the liners. One day I went down and took the drive shaft out and just kind of just chipping away at it. Got the exhaust system out. You can see that here. Um, definitely want to be careful when you uh, pull this unit out because the this connector on the passenger side front for the O2 sensor is routed up around another harness and I want to say a brake line or something. I'll have to double check. But anyways, when you lower this pipe, uh, this is going to get snagged and you got to be careful you don't snag it too hard and screw it up. So uh, get the liner out and then you know do what you got to do anyways so before i uh drop the transfer case and transmission um i'm doing this by myself on my back under a truck that's on jack stands now i've got 12 ton you know supports under here so it's not going anywhere but my jack is just not suitable for what i want to do so i picked up this uh this three ton jack at advance auto and also ordered this universal transmission adapter, right? So I can get a hold of that transfer case and transmission and lower them safely. Because I'm all about the safety. So the, uh, this adapter, you can see, has this solid piece on here, all right? And there was a, let me see if I have it up here. comes with a <clears throat> comes with a bolt and a little slide deal so you know you fit this through a mount I guess the idea is to you know put this on the other side of the plate that's on the jack tighten this down and you can secure this well uh, doesn't fit either one of my jacks so this universal piece needs some modification done to it now it did come with this adapter plate okay and this is to obviously raise the uh, the transmission uh, adapter mount, whatever. So it does slide right in here, okay? You drive in that set screw, and then this you put in here. Here's the problem. This jack does come with a saddle bolt or screw. You can remove it. That's what it looks like. And I cannot find... Uh, I can't find these anywhere and I'm still searching all right but you'll notice how coarse of a thread that is you look on this deal and you see that it's a fine thread all right same diameter two thread sizes so went to the hardware store I'm like how am I gonna adapt this to fit here because you can't screw it on because of the threads so we got a grade 8 now this is a standard uh, standard measurement, but for some reason, it will snug itself down pretty tight and there's no wiggle room, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld this plug right on the end of that so I can screw this onto the, uh, onto the jack. So that's the, that's the goal. And then we'll just, we'll be right in there and hopefully that'll be enough strength to drop a 90 pound torque converter and what's the transmission 100 120 pounds that should hold so let's go over to the welding table and watch how crappy i am on the welder all right took the wire wheel tool because i don't know if this this coating matters because i'm not a professional at welding but i did clean off the surfaces and I guess what I'm going to do is clamp it. I'll just try to get it centered as best I can. And I'm just going to tack it to start with. And hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll work. So, let's see what happens. 
Yeah, I gotta get ready for combat. You know what I mean? I don't even know if this thing still works. It's old. I've had it since dirt was invented. All right, let's turn this camera around. this again. There you go. It sounds like steak frying. Well, it looks like ass, but it'll hold. <laughs> Doesn't have to be pretty, but it should hold at least 120 pounds of forces straight down. Let's go fit it. All right, let's see if this uh, if this bullshito freaking works and the thing is like here I'll just put this on here I don't care if that's on there may as well let me get around all right we're cutting the big dogs yeah This is. Yeah. That's on tight. Alright. Drive in the set screws. Alright, pivotable. crossover but you know you understand the deal the dealio <clears throat> all right this is a double cylinder very fast lift deal I should have no problems have to make solutions man there ain't no problems in this household only solutions all right let's see so yeah i think that's gonna hold for what i need to do better than spending twelve hundred dollars for one that's uh made for transmissions right and this function does work it's like a, a tilt option so you can meet whatever angle tickles your fancy. I think I'm in business. All right, it's time for me to get under there and uh, disconnect the torque converter. I got to remove the starter first to get access to it. There's an access plate on the transmission. So we'll do that. And I'm not filming none of that stuff. Plenty of videos out there on how to pull this transmission. Take it easy.